Well, uh, with that, I guess we move ahead and uh, bring in our uh, next guest on the show, Nishtil Maheshwari, CEO of Institutional Equities and Advisory at Centrum Broking is with us. Nishtil, good morning. Thank you for joining in. Season's greetings to you and a very, very happy new year. Uh, so, you know, since we were just speaking to a space and defense company, let me start with that first. It's really been the sector of 2023, right? And then you had those brief patches. I still remember when we had, uh, uh, you know, uh, the big, uh, you know, space launches. Every time these stocks would perk up because that's the kind of momentum market we are in. Uh, what are your thoughts? I don't, I don't know if you track Paras specifically, but within the defense space, uh, would you buy anything afresh? Uh, morning, uh, season's greeting to all your team at uh, 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 CNBC TV 18. Uh, uh, defense, yes, it has got a lot of potential. I think that's been the potential has been there for the last 10 years. For the last two years, we've started seeing some action happening. Uh, but it is yet to percolate down to uh, show up in any private company's uh, numbers or an order book uh, in a big way. Uh, you look at the large companies, basically, whether it is LNT or uh, Bharat Forge, who have been in that space for a long period of time. Uh, spend a lot of money, basically, but it's, I don't think so. They have still more than five or ten percent of the order book is defense. So I think uh, yes, the potential is there, uh, but I think it's going to be a long, just uh, a long way. And uh, these these are all very long, drawn out uh, uh, programs. So uh, you have to be cautious, basically, when you are being over optimistic about defense. Uh, at the moment, I believe people are over op optimistic about defense. Uh, I think uh, it has got a lot of potential, but it is going to play out over a period of time. I am not going to buy any <laughs> share defense at the moment. Okay, you're not going to buy any uh, defense shares at the moment, especially because, uh, you know, the rally has been pretty large, right? Especially names like HAL, BEL. I mean, they are one of the top 100 arms manufacturing companies in the world right now. But I think a lot of that is perhaps priced in. You never know. But uh, Nishal, uh, morning, the other stocks that I wanted to talk to you about were the IT stocks now coming out with their numbers next week. So it's going to be in focus. Infi, TCS, Wipro, HCL Tech. Would you buy any of these names ahead of the earnings or are you cautious? So I think this current quarter is going to be uh, definitely uh, in line with the first two quarters, which is sort of weak. And this quarter is going to have uh, longer for lows. So obviously, uh, on a year-on-year -year basis also, you may not see very strong numbers coming out of the IT. But I think uh, most of the market is optimistic about the future potential. And given that the interest rates are uh, most likely to get cut in the U.S., you see that there is going to be increased uh, spending uh, across the uh, corporate world in the U.S. And that's why people are optimistic. I'm also of that camp. Uh, yes, current quarter is not going to be great. But I think uh, every uh, fall in the IT is an opportunity to buy. Uh, Nisha, morning. Did you have a look at the latest CERC regulations, the draft rules on power? And what would your key takeaways be? Uh, sorry, uh, we don't have an analyst on uh, power basis, so we are not tracking that. Okay. Uh, what about Dabur? Now, Dabur was this big laggard in 2024. In fact, the entire rural consumption uh, was very sluggish and subdued. Are you penciling in some revival in the rural growth, which could benefit? We could see some sectoral rotation, money flowing back into names like Dabur? I don't see any signs as yet of the revival, basically. And uh, uh, I'm a bit afraid, basically, that next year El Nino is going to be more pronounced than what we saw this year. So uh, uh, even in our current strategy note, we believe uh, one of the uh, issues uh, facing the market is going to be rural revival. And that revival, I believe, basically is, is uh, further pushed out, uh, at least for the moment, I think, because of high inflation at the rural level. I'm saying rural level uh, historically has always had lower inflation than the urban side, but at the moment, both of them are having the same kind of inflation. And that's why you are seeing that the uh, rural demand is a bit tepid. Uh, and I don't see any revival at the moment for them. Uh, Nishal, I just want to discuss this huge run-up in uh, real estate stocks that we have been seeing all through last year. And then, I mean, yesterday was quite something, 10 to 20 percent higher. Some of the business updates are in, but do they justify this sort of a move? Uh, and uh, what's your overall positioning on the sector and the top stocks that you like here? So, I think historically, we have seen these rallies actually earlier also. And... Uh... 
uh, fundamentally, I think uh, most of these stocks basically are now at least 20, 15 to 20% ahead of their NAVs. So typically you would uh, look at a real estate stock, look at the future uh, uh, cash flows and discount it to the uh, uh, current year and look at an NAV. I think historically most of them have traded at least 5 to 10% discount. Now they're trading at 15 to 20% premium. I think the uh, market has started discounting the future uh, projects which they are going to undertake. We had seen this rally, this kind of a thing happening in 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, th that time, basically, as soon as a project used to get announced, analysts used to actually put it into the numbers and put out a new NAV, and all those projects never came through. So I think we need to be cautious. I am positive on it because uh, these are interest rate sensitive uh, uh, sectors. And if we are looking at rate cuts, which I'm expecting to happen next year, uh, definitely I think you should be invested. I think wait for a correction in the sector for entry. Uh, but I think the larger stocks where there is a clear, uh, 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 a clear trend, uh, something what we like is uh, Godrej, uh, DLF, and uh, 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 Macrotech. I think these are three stocks basically which we like in a book. Uh, Nishal, there has been a gold rush into these jewellery companies. Last year, Titan crossed the milestone of 3 lakh crore in market capitalization. The stock rallied 45%. Kalyan Jewellers has been a big mover, 195% gain in the last one year. And despite very high gold prices, consumption or demand continues to be very strong. If you'd seen the you know, Kalyan Jewellers business update, 33% overall consolidated revenue growth in the Q3 quarter, festive aided by the festive period, but 40% in India alone. Um, would you bet on these jewellery companies? Um, there are others also, like Senko, there's Thangamayal. Um, you know, your thoughts on the theme per se, and which ones look attractive to you within that? So we continue to be positive on this theme, actually, because uh, um, last quarter and again this quarter, I think there is going to be something like a 30 lakh weddings is going to happen in the country. So I think uh, that is what is driving it basically. This is more, I think, uh, maybe uh, some marriages got delayed because of the COVID. And it is all happening in the last one year, one and a half year. You're seeing a lot of this is happening basically. That's why you're seeing this kind of a uh, strong trend in the uh, jewelry segment. So I think it continues to be uh, 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 on a buoyant uh, uh, space. Uh, what we would uh, are doing is basically now saying that you should book profits on Titan and go into the second one, second line stocks like Kalyan is a top pick out there, though it has hit our uh, price target also. But I still continue to believe basically that it has got, uh, as we roll on to 26, uh, it will have more ups uh, upside from here. So uh, uh, Kalyan uh, is the one which we are looking at. Others we don't cover at the moment, but uh, I think uh, it's it's good time to take away some profit from Titan and maybe get into the second line stocks. All right, interesting there. So a good time to move some money from the large caps to the mid caps in growing sectors like uh, consumption and jewellery. Got it. Let's Nishchal, over the next few days, we could get the business updates from HDFC Bank. And then you have their numbers coming out on the 16th as well. Uh, in the run-up to the earnings, how are you feeling about the bank itself and the kind of performance we have seen so far? I think most of the banks which have come out with their business update, I think they've been pretty robust, actually. Uh, the smaller banks, uh, given that a uh, lower base they were coming from, basically most of them have shown pretty healthy credit growth. I'm saying uh, as low as high as 40% to what you said just now, RBL is something like a 20% kind of a growth. So I don't see any issue as far as the credit gro uh, growth is concerned in the uh, banking sector. Again, on the asset side also, I think most of the banks have uh, continued to maintain that uh, still uh, the Goldilocks scenario continue as far as the asset quality is concerned. The only worry which I see here is basically that all of them have shown uh, issue about uh, on the liability side. So most of them have lost uh, CASA uh, 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 for, uh, uh, in the current quarter. Uh, most of them have uh, seen deposit growth being lower than the uh, uh, loan growth, uh, which is a cause for worry, basically, because that will increase the uh, cost going up as we go ahead. So that is the only worry which I see on the banking side at the moment, that the costs are going to go up, especially on the uh, uh, liability side. 
but uh, otherwise uh, a pretty healthy growth in the current quarter okay got that uh, nishwil thank you very much for uh, joining in today good chatting with you you have a good session uh, and of course a good 2024 as well